everybody! Happy... Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel! Obviously on my channel a lot of the looks I do are quite dramatic. They're definitely more evening looks. So I do read my comments as you all know and I have completely taken on board that you wanted a more everyday makeup look. So that's what I've done for you today. It is also really good if you've got hooded eyes like I do. So pretty much every look I do actually is good for hooded eyes considering I have hooded eyes. I'm not going to do a look that doesn't look good on my eyes. So keep on watching if you want to see how to get this everyday makeup look and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so we'll start with the eyes. I'm going to use first a highlight. So this one is my favourite ever highlight and I don't know the name of it because the name has fallen off the back. That's just my little magnet. So I'm going to research the name and I will put it below in the description box for you. So first I'm using my highlight. What you want to do with the highlight is apply it on the inner corners of the eyes and underneath the brow bone. So this is a foolproof step. Like you really can't make a mistake with it because it's not a dark pigmented colour, it's just a white. You can see the difference. This eye looks a lot bigger and more awake. This one looks a little bit... crap. Next I'm going to use this colour here. This is Wheat from Bobbi Brown and as you can see it's a very very natural light brown. So this colour is perfect for applying in the crease when you want that natural look but you still want definition to your crease and that's especially important if you have hooded eyes like I do. I'm applying that with my favourite ever Medellium Tools fluffy blending brush and basically you're just going to run that between where you put your two highlights. So you're running it from here to here in a dome shape just following your natural crease line. This next part is completely up to you if you want to do it or not. I like to simply because I feel like my eyes are a little on the small side and if you have hooded lids you'll probably want to do this next step as well just to elongate the eyes and make the lids look a little bit bigger than they are and that is to apply a darker shade to the outer corners of the eyes. I'm going to use a smaller dense blending brush for this as well and you kind of want to apply it in a C shape. And then I'm just going to take my original Bedellium Tools brush and just blend that out so it looks really soft. Next I'm going to run a little bit more of Wheat from Bobbi Brown on a flat eyeshadow brush just underneath the lower lash line. Then on an even smaller flat eyeshadow brush I'm going to apply that same Embark colour from MAC and I'm going to literally hug the lower lash line with that so I'm not bringing it down low whatsoever. Pretty much I'm running this directly through the lower lashes. For this look, I'm not going to bother applying any eyeliner whatsoever. I'm just going to apply a volumizing mascara. So I'm using the volume from Chanel because, in my opinion, this is the best mascara of life and they've just brought it out in waterproof, which is even better. So I'm going to concentrate the mascara to the roots of the lashes and that's going to kind of act as an eyeliner. So if you concentrate your mascara on the roots of the lashes and then bring it up, you're still going to get the volume, still going to get the length, but it's going to give you the bulk of the color directly against the lash line and that's going to act as your eyeliner anyway because it's still going to frame your eyes. If you already have good natural brows you can skip this step and lucky you, I have very sparse brows as you can see so I'm going to fill mine in. I'm just using my Chanel brow pencil in the colour 30. If anybody wants to see a tutorial, by the way, on how I fill in my brows with this pencil, please leave me a comment down below and I will do that for you as well. Okay, so my brows are on. Next, I'm going to move to contouring and blush. For my cheek contour, I'm going to use Strata by MAC. Strata has been discontinued as far as I'm aware, but Harmony by MAC is pretty much identical. So if you're looking for a good cheek contour colour and you're quite fair like me, Harmony is a good choice. And we're going to apply that underneath my cheekbone with an angled, what is it, blush brush. And I'm really, really gently applying that because I don't want it to move my foundation underneath. I'm going to use this colour here to bronze out my forehead and underneath my chin. 
which will again act as a contour but I'm just using this color because it's got more yellow tone to it and I want to make this area look like it's been hit by the sun so I'm going to apply this pretty much anywhere the sun hits this is a bronzer as you can see it doesn't have a name because it is a real cheapo from eBay so if I can find the link from where I bought it I bought this years ago um, and you can see how much I've used from it. it was actually such a good buy I will put the link down below for you if I can't find it then just any bronzer you have will do as long as it's not too dark for your skin tone I'm using the same brush to apply it I'm gonna apply the tiniest bit down the bridge of my nose because the sun also hits there because my nose is like I'm gonna apply a tiny bit underneath my chin just to contour that area and warm up my neck a little bit because I'm so pale Next, I am going to contour my nose because I need to contour my nose. If you have a good nose, skip this step. If you have a nose that needs contouring, I will put the links to my two nose contouring videos down below for you and you can check that out. I'm going to apply a wee bit of blush. This one here is, what is it? Blush Baby from MAC and I'm using the blusher brush from Hair and Makeup Diction to apply that and where you want to apply it is from the apples of the cheeks which is here and blend it up and away so don't blend it down do never ever take it further than this smile line here so when you smile and you get that line there don't take your blush any further down than that but stick with it here on that fleshy part of the cheek and bring it up and away to nothing and again I'm just going to stipple it into my skin because I don't want it to move the foundation that I've applied underneath Next, for my lipstick, I'm going to be using this guy here. This is called Irreplaceable and it's from Motives Cosmetics and it is that kind of light mauve colour there. In Australia, it is difficult to get Motives Cosmetics, so I'll have the link to the online shop from where... So I'll have the link to the online shop where I get my Motives Cosmetics from for you in the description box down below. So this is the finished look. It's really easy but it's still got that simple glamour look to it so it's not like a plain everyday makeup look. It is still incorporating a little bit of glamour but still really simple, really quick and really easy to do especially if you don't have a lot of time in the morning. If you're wondering, the foundation that I'm wearing is... Oh my light just turned out! Maybe my house is haunted, oh no. If you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing in this tutorial it is the Chanel Perfection Linear Velvet the Chanel Perfection Limier Velvet Foundation. It is my new foundation of life. I am actually a makeup artist for Chanel and I swear I'm not being biased. I never have used any of the other Chanel foundations because they just don't work for my skin whatsoever. But this one is the best thing ever to be created for red skin, skin with pigmentation, oily skin, combination skin, acne prone skin. Trust me on that. So I have done a full review and demo and I will have that linked down below for you in the description box. Please come and chat to me on Instagram. My Instagram name is at Stephanie Lang Makeup. I have a Tumblr and I have a Twitter. As you know, I don't know how to use Twitter, so if you want to help me, please do. If you have any ideas of future looks that you'd like to see, please leave them. If you have any ideas for future looks that you want to see, please leave them. Why can't I talk? Please leave them down in the comment box below and I will be sure to get them done for you. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all very much.